Hello Youtubers, welcome to Johnny's Guardian Lab. Um, today's video we're going to talk about the issue I was facing during installing STAP into the MySQL Linux server. Let me show you about what the issue is. If you go to activity monitoring, you look at the STAP control. So you will see my Linux server 16, 17, both have STAP status yellow. It's invalid STAP configuration and you will get kind of KTAP related issue and uh, you are not able to capture any packet from PCAP. Um, I did a lot of troubleshooting and I found out this okay, this document from guardiannotes.wordpress.com it's a 2015 documentation. Um, I was trying that and it seems it's able to resolve my issue. Basically, we need to install some pack missing packages and uh, then change some parameters. Uh, let, let's start working on this. Before we do that, we have to re remove this. I tried to update the parameters through the setup client um, but it, it wasn't working well so what I'm going to do I'm going to just uh, remove it completely as tab and then reinstall it with the right uh, parameters so we are going to remove as tab next so here is the parameter I was using. Uh, we need to enable K tab, allow the module combos to be loaded, and also call, of course live update, and uh, some others. As tab, of course, you need to enable that as well. Then next, um, we're gonna do our install. Actually, we are not doing install. We remove it completely because the update in the package won't work. So we do pending our install right now. After we in uninstall the last tab, we're gonna use in um, CentOS. We're gonna go to our CentOS server. We're gonna install those uh, missing components here. Install GCC make kernel development what after we done that then we can reinstall S tab and hopefully K tab will be installed correctly and launched correctly. We will see. So right now it's on installation. I'm going there. It probably take two minutes to get it done. Okay, it's been removed. And we can double check from STAP status. So 16 is gone. We need to install yum, install GCC, make, and there's one more component. Kernel D developer after we install those components and let me just give it the reboot and then reinstall it again with those uh, so it's about 16 megabytes file we downloaded and then we with an updated the parameters uh, and then we will try to see if the issue can be resolved. Okay, and then we put it. It will take a couple of minutes to come back. 
at the same time we can look at that document again so first we need to install those missing packages and we need to reinitialize the ktap compilation process so basically uh, using Jim to reconfigure the ktap module let's look at the ktap module um, which is already part of the Aster bundle so basically we just need to reinstall the Aster bundle again and, but we need to make sure set ktap enabled to 1 um, right okay yeah just set to the ktab enable to one but there's a couple more parameters relating to ktab so we're gonna set it manually as well okay uh, development package we also install the lat yeah we can uh, look now so we can just do yum list installed to see if it's been installed yeah 3.10 and also you can check alerts like GCC also make basically we are we are thinking maybe during the install as tab the combination process for the ktab wasn't completed properly so that's causing the ktab cannot be loaded properly into the uh, Linux server Okay, let's come back to our web GUI here. Let's look at um, gene status. So it's green. This is, this is our CentOS server. Now we can try to deploy it. Set up by client. Okay, this is our Linux server. CentOS 7 it shows the Red Hat 7, but actually it's CentOS 7. We do the bundle as tab 11.2. Okay, here is the parameters. So we need to keep the KTAB live update to yes. KTAB enable to one important. KTAB allow module combos. We need to allow module combos is set to yes as well. And this will be discover enabled in turbo 24. As tab enabled needs to say yes. Fan, yeah, we don't need fan, so we can put the in disable. Buffer size is 50. Okay, good. Next, install. Okay, now let's check the status. So it's pending install. It's going to take um, mostly two minutes. It's going to be done. Okay, now it's in uh, progress to install. Okay, it's just installed. Great. Um, now, let's look at uh, if there's any magical thing happening here. As tab. Perfect. As you can see, 191.6.8.2.16 became green now. It's working. So basically, we followed this KB and installed uh, whatever we need missing those components and then enable the k-tab in uh, parameters and now it shows green also i followed the same procedures for ubuntu server 192.168.2.17 um, as you can see it's online it shows green and there is some error message um, but it's not relating to the K tab those things. Uh, basically FAM is disabled based on our parameters. We didn't enable FAM, but uh, Guardian tab is starting. That's uh, that's good news.
So Ubuntu is fine and also good for CentOS server. There's some warning notification notice. Um, but basically it same thing fan is disabled. We didn't enable that. And that it's it's working fine. We were uninstalling that as tab and reinstalled it. 